temperatures are getting cooler, the lengths of daylight are getting shorter, so that means our Bermuda grass is starting to slow down and get ready to go dormant for the winter. To make sure that we don't have brown grass throughout the winter, we overseed with perennial ryegrass. That's a cool season grass that gives us a dark green color throughout the winter. It makes it pretty on TV and for our fans, but most importantly, it gives us stable, consistent athletic fields for our student athletes. We started off the season with five consecutive home games. Uh, that was a, a challenge to say the least, but now we get to catch our breath. We get to love on the grass a little bit, give it some TLC. Uh, not only overseed, but top dress with sand and punch some solid tine holes to vent the field and really get it ready for our next home game. The nice thing about overseeding with ryegrass in Alabama is we have a long period of great growing weather for ryegrass in the fall. Temperatures are right around, what, 80, 82 degrees during the daytime, down into the 50s at night. We're going to grow some ryegrass. We use Dr. Hahn and our extension system not only for overseeding practices, but to get a feel for what's happening throughout the state. You know, we can forecast through Dr. Hahn what insects are coming. Particularly with our perennial ryegrass, we have a lot of disease pressures. Uh, late fall, early spring. So we can ask the extension system, what diseases are you seeing on the golf courses and athletic fields? And if we see something, we'll get Dr. Hahn to come over and help di correctly diagnose the disease to make sure we're making the correct applications for the specific target. That connection with our extension system, it's critical because we can predict what's coming to Auburn. You know, it, it's always nice to know what's coming before it hits you. It's, it's a small world, the world of turf. It's not, uh, you know, not a gigantic <laughs> enterprise, so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. 